Gabrielle, and Elise. And today we're doing the Northeast Fun Bat Challenge. Hi, Elise. Hi, Gabrielle. Hi, Elise. Today we're talking about the Northeast here in the states in that region. First, there's Maryland. Delaware, Pennsylvania, to New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, then Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and New York. Okay, girls, let's start the quiz. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a quiz, kind of just questions about the Northeast and fun facts about that part of the country. In the New York area, in the city of New York and, and the surrounding area, there's over 20 million people. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's more people than the entire Rocky Mountain region combined. That includes the states of Wyoming. Montana, Idaho, Nevada, Colorado, and Utah. Here's a kind of our first question. Would you guys rather live in a very big city or would you want to be out there, out in the wild? Elise, what do you think? Out in the wild. Because you get to have, it, you probably have lots of farms and you probably um, have lots of horses and I love horses. Big. You want wide open spaces? Yeah. All right. Like. There's a song about that. Really? Yeah. Uh, like, ow. Ow. This. Ow. You want the same thing as your sister? <laughs> you guys don't want to separate? You could be the big city girl and it should be the country girl. No? No? No. No. no, no. All right. No. I'm going to ride a horse all around. So you just kind of want to wander around the, the western states on Well, that, that means she's living on a horse. No. I mean, I have... A farmhouse thingy, but I also, instead of a car or a trailer or something like that, I ride on a horse. Here's my next question for you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Every state has a flag. I picked out a few of them. Of these, each of you pick out your, your favorite flag. Here's Connecticut. It's got some, some uh, great vines on it. This is the flag of Delaware, and uh, it's got a, a cow on it. It does have a cow on it, and it has a farmer and a soldier. Now we have the flag of New Hampshire, uh, and it's got a, a nice boat on it. It's, it's got a frigate. The flag of Maryland. Look at that. That was totally different. It's Constant. very confusing. That's one thing that I can say. You think that flag's confusing? Yes, very uh, confusing. They love these colors. They have a state cat. It's a calico cat, which has so... this half and half a kind of yellow and half black. So which of those flags would be your favorite flag? Can I have two? Nope, gotta pick one. Uh, yes, Elise. New Hampshire. You like New Hampshire. Wait, which one? That's the boat. Okay, then mine is Connecticut. Oh, you like the grapes. I actually agree with you guys. I think those are nice. All right, next question. The state of Maine and the state of Connecticut both have an official sea creature. Pick a state, and then that's going to be your sea creature pet that you have to keep. All right, so. I have to! Yeah, you're going to have to keep it. Is and one of them feed a. Feed it, take care of it. Is one of them a dolphin? I don't know, and I can't, I can't tell you that. I can't tell you. So, Maine. Elise, do you want Maine or Connecticut? I don't want to get a bad one, like an octopus or something. Yeah, that like, wouldn't be too much I don't want to get an octopus. Fun. That wouldn't be too much fun. Yeah, you would have to keep it in the bathtub, and you would have to have a huge bathtub, and you would you would have to, you could not take any baths. Have you guys ever seen how octo octopi are able to uh, camouflage themselves? Yes. It's, yes. A, it's amazing. Yes. And they can squeeze through into tiny spots. Yeah, they have no bones. Or is that... No yeah, bones. yeah, no bones. No bones. What do you think, Maine or Connecticut, Elise? <laughs> I don't know. I know which one I want. Which one do you want, Gabrielle? Connecticut. Connecticut. Gabrielle picks Connecticut. What about you, Elise? It's all good with Maine. Okay. So, Gabrielle <laughs> got Connecticut, and the state animal of Connecticut is sperm whale. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, so, you got... Uh, I can't do that, though. What? You can't take care of a whale here in the Midwest? Yeah, they're too big. Yeah, and, and we don't have uh, any, you know, salt water for them. It would be as big as our house or bigger. What about you, Elise? Let's see what you got. 
You got a lobster. No! I can't. It's, it's, probably, it's probably better than a sperm whale. Oh, well, yeah. If you, like, wrap up its claws with tape. Yeah, you can wrap up its claws and then it can't pinch you. Um, I don't know how much personality they have, though. You wouldn't want to sleep with it in your bed? No! It would pinch she my... sleeps next to me. There's it, one thing that would, I don't want. It would next pinch. To me. It would pinch my ear like this. <laughs> if you were nice to it and kind of snuggled up with the lobster, then you know maybe. It Why would, would I ever do that? Hey, lobsters can live for a very long time. Maybe it would be a, a wise old lobster that would have but smart they... things to tell you. And. It might be a not wise lobster that pinches your ear a lot <laughs> and eventually pinches your ear off. What if we, for you, Gabrielle, what if we filled our basement with, with water. salt water? That wouldn't work. The spring wheel goes like this. It's trying to swim. It's like, and then the whole house goes like this. <laughs> A lot of these states have famous foods associated with them. Gabrielle, would you like to eat Connecticut's famous food or Delaware's famous food? For this one, since I've kept going with Connecticut, I'll do Delaware. Okay, Elise, you're going with Connecticut, which means oh, boy. you oh. have to eat white clam pizza. It's pizza that has clams on it. Oh. So. So they make a regular pizza with, and then they put clams all over it. You have to eat the clams. Yeah, you've never tried that. It could be delicious. Gabrielle, in Delaware, they're famous for Scrapple. Do you know what Scrapple is? Well, Scrapple is basically assorted pig parts. So all the extra parts of a pig that you don't normally eat, they kind of grind them up, mix them with some spices and some cornmeal, and then they bake it into a loaf. You want to try that? No. Well. I'd rather eat clam pizza or whatever. White clam that. pizza, yeah. White clam pizza than eat I, pig. Do you think a pig would like to eat white clam pizza? Yes. I do too. They yeah. would eat anything. Do you think so a clam you think clam would want to have some scrapple? No. Here's a picture of a giant clam. Maybe, would you say it could maybe eat a, a baby pig? Yeah, but I wouldn't allow it to. <laughs> I have a baby pig would be so cute. I have a song for you guys. Somewhere under the rainbow, where pigs fly, <laughs> eating white clam pizza on the Fourth of July. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Next part of our challenge. Are you ready? Statue of Liberty drawing contest. Yeah! You have five minutes. Who can draw the best Statue of Liberty? Go. When you guys see this, you'll be freaked out. <laughs> okay, girls, one more minute. Put your pens down. Put your markers down. At least we move that basket away. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so look at the bow. Well, she's got some green lipstick on. Yeah. I think she messed up on her lipstick. So, are you wondering what this is? Is that a bug or an alien? <laughs> that's not either of them. That, you know how... It's... Oh wait, that's Gabrielle with her pom-poms on her head. Yeah. No! Pom -pom. You know how in some cartoons, there's, when people are, like, amazed, their eyes pop out? Oh, so yeah. So she's, like, amazed! And she's, like, oh my god, we're out. And, and her eyes are popping out of her head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh there's a sperm whale well under the Statue of Liberty there. Oh. All right. Anything else you want to tell us about it? No. No? Okay. There's yours. Good job. Gabrielle, next. Here's my statue. Nice work. I like it. These dots are people, and they're clicking their cameras to take pictures. And she kind of looks like a, like a mermaid. Yeah. She's a mermaid Sash with a seaweed-flavored ice cream bar. Ew. Uh, in the, on Statue of Liberty, you can go up into the crown, and you used to be, a long time ago, you used to be able to go up to where the torch is. Would you guys want to do that? It's pretty tight up there on that torch. No. No, because it could fall and then land in the water, and then you could land in a spring. <laughs> now, in the Northeast, there is the capital of our country. 
What would be the one most important thing that you'd want to do if you could be president? What would be on your agenda? If you'd make a speech and you'd say, this is what I want to do, what would it be? To make it so that you could bring the pen to school. So your law would be to change school rules across the country. All the schools in the country, kids could bring a pet to yes. school. This is not and, and then you could raise your hand and you could just say, teacher, I want to bring my pet outside because she needs to go to the bathroom or he, and then she'll say yes. Okay, so you also have a right to go to the bathroom with your pet whenever yes. you'd like. Yes. All right, it's an interesting proposal. I'm not sure how helpful it would be. But it's not supposed to be helpful. It's just supposed to be helpful to kids so that they have a little buddy every single day at school. Well, that's good to have a buddy at school. That would make the kids feel more comfortable, probably. And that's they good. can read to them and write with them. and. But it might be distracting, don't you think? Yeah, they would bark a lot. Like, if it like was a dog. Today, we will be doing that bark! <laughs> Elise, let's see what you would like. What would you like to change about the world if you could be president? What would you want to propose? That nobody fights. That nobody fights? And That's a beautiful that thing. Everybody does not have does have food because people all around the world do not have food? Fresh water, I think. Um they don't have good shelter and you don't have good clothes. So you're saying that you would want to take care of the world's poor to make sure that they had a better life. Yes. And also no fighting. Yeah. That's a good rule. Do you guys fight with each other? Yes. yes. But not too much. Not too much. But when we're playing with each other, sometimes we're like, we throw stuff at each other. <laughs> we're like, to get we're so mad, mad at each other. So like, but this is the weird part about us. Right after we get mad at each other, we just yeah. do we yeah. do something to make us laugh, and then we, it, it's so weird. Like one second we're super mad at each other, throwing people stuff at each other, and like ta tackling each other, <laughs> and then the next second we're like, "Yay!" A glass of tea. <laughs> no. Well, that's great, actually. I wish I wish uh, everyone could be that way. We here in the United States have. Different coins. Who can tell me some of the coins? Go ahead, Gabrielle. Penny. Yes. Quarter. Yes. Dime. Yes. Nickel. Yes. And a, a dollar. Yeah, we do have a dollar coin. That's right. And here, if you're listening and you're not in the United States, you might not know. Um, they started to give each state its own themed quarters. And I'm going to show you girls some of the state quarters from uh, the Northeast. Of these quarters, which is your favorite? We have here Vermont's Quarter. Uh, it is a man who's getting maple syrup out of a tree. They have a lot of maple syrup there in Vermont. Here's the one from Rhode Island. Rhode Island's Quarter has got a nice sailing ship there. We have New York with Statue of Liberty, or as, as we call her, the Mermaid. Oh, look at that. Connecticut has a beautiful big oak tree, the Charter Oak. That's a gorgeous one. And then New Jersey has uh, an image of George Washington crossing the Delaware on a boat. This is uh, during the American Revolution. So uh, if I had to pick two, it would be New York and Vermont. New York and Vermont. So Verm those are very different because New York is, is all about, you know, the big city there with the Statue of Liberty and and uh, Vermont almost seems kind of lonely. Lonely man, putting his buckets on the trees, going out in the cold weather, he's got a scarf on. Trees don't even have any leaves on them. <laughs> but he's getting his maple syrup, he's gonna have pancakes. So it kind of makes you feel, yeah. makes you feel all warm inside thinking about those pancakes that he's gonna yeah. eat. I'm hungry now for pancakes. Hey. If I had to pick two, I'd the same as Gabriel's. So you also like Vermont and the Statue of Liberty there on New York. I like New York's as well because it gives you a map. You get lost in New York. You're like, wait, wait, let's just look at the quarter. <laughs> so that's it for our Northeast Fun Fact Challenge. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Are you sad that it's over? Oh. It's time for a bunch of shout outs. Let's start with Jamie, Afton, and Alyssa Daniels, Akron Okak, Jaden Johnson. 
Deborah Korob, Valeria Lopez, Denizia Sarah. Thanks to all of you for being here. And a big thanks to Sean's lovely channel for all the extra fun facts. Finally, a special shout out to Thomas in Belize. He's watching out there on his island paradise. It's connecting with amazing people like you that make this channel worth it. Enjoy your adventure! The most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. And of course, subscribe.